good cool Friday in it. It is. I tried to have the heater on for Michael. He had our oldest come out here and cut the heater on. But as you know, back here, that kind of heater is not, don't work as good unless you cut it on like two hours ahead of time. I know all the people up north will laugh at us thinking it's cold, but 35 is chilly for It here. is. They come down here though, and it'll be, you know, <laughs> during the summertime, they'll burn alive. Yeah. Well, y'all finally got them in? We did. Um, Can we see them in person? You wanna? Yeah, we wanna look at them. All right. You gonna sit there? I'm trying to, oh, they got a seal you gotta break. So. Very nice. All right. I guess since we broke the seal, this is yours. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all do it like 60 weeks on them? Well, you see. That it's, Matco it, tax is high on some green rubber now. Well, it's all oh, about that smooth. color. They are. They're not like the regular. They're nice though. I mean, I I think they are. So for you guys that might not know, let me find the regular pair. They're back there on the ceiling. We have to keep those up. <laughs> you can see these have a little bit of a texture. If you don't know what real Knipex red rubber pliers feel like you need to own a pair anyway so <laughs> as you can see these are kind of a texture grip yep and these are smooth and these are smooth you know what that rubber reminds me of those and i'm sorry knipex people but that's like channel lock handles well it's smooth they are smooth i was not expecting them to be i was not either i was thinking it was going to be the red the same grip. Yeah. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> but see, you still got your green handles though. So, yeah. I mean. That is true. But there you go, guys. Yeah. You can see and there. And then there's your part number for them. Smooth as a baby's bottom. <laughs> not textured. <laughs> they look good though. They do. And you know, they still got the same lifetime warranty on them. So, that's. That's a positive. But now you're talking about everybody needs a pair of Nipix. Um, the 10-inch. Well, Y'all's those... part number is PC-10. Yes, PC-10. And uh, I think, honestly, as somebody that doesn't work on a lot of cars at all, like I'll help Michael out, you know, but I think you need fives. Fives and fives. then the little bitty fours yeah. are perfect to like just have in your pocket. Like, See, I like the fives better than the fours. <laughs> Well, see, Personally. the fours don't have that grip on there, so you don't, don't have like that. I don't like that automatic adjustment on the fours. Oh, I like the little... to push the button and it stay yeah. where I want it. That's why I like the fives yeah. better. Now, my daddy-in-law, we got him, my papa, and somebody else all fives at the same time. Well, he works in a factory up here at Cat, which is, you know, what most people his age do. And <laughs> he got his out the other day, and they're like, pretty and red you know he's barely used them. my mother-in-law used them to like take a staple or something out that's the oh, only time they've been great used for pulling staples. yes they are especially in here but um yeah i mean you just gotta have them i mean well it's funny like the first time i ever got into a pair of knippets i bought some of the snap-on the snap-on brand little yeah, ones like that i've seen them and I'd use them and they'd strip out like the little you know because they have like uh it's sort of like channel locks they have yeah. the little channels that's used for adjustment well the damn things would slip and it kick it up in the next notch oh so i warranted like four pair of them out with hamilton and i said man these kind of suck for as much money as they cost like yeah. they ought to be a they ought to last longer than this. exactly you know, i know you'll warranty them. them but still yeah. it sucks to, when you need them <laughs> they slip you know mm -hmm. so he swapped them for a pair of knipex and that ruined me on them like yep. from then on no other pair of pliers would go like, it had to be Knipex. Yeah, and I agree. I think once you go Nipix, especially if you've ever seen them demonstrate, I don't know. I'm sure you've done the demonstration, you know. Michael's done it on here. We've got it on our Instagram way back when. Yeah. They have the bar that they give you, mm -hmm. and you'll lock them in. And now he was standing on fives, yeah. which, you know, are like, they're smaller than this yeah. one. And at the time, I think he was one something, and he stood on them, held his hands up, mm -hmm. and it held all his weight without slipping. They lock. Now they're so. good. Yes, but uh, we also have something else new. 
that we like the new I, stuff. I haven't read up on. Michael was going to do this video, but okay. he had to take off day. More green. It is. More green. S A E W three G. Yep. Exoskeleton slim jaw adjustable wrench set. In green. In green. So first time opening these, they come last night in our UPS packages. The case nice is case nice. with yeah. the green. Yeah. It's not burgundy. That's true. So anything is better than the burgundy. Yeah. I will set this here and move these out of the way. Really. So and it's got the part number on there too. So if something happens when you break one of them. I'm guessing you know what set they come out of. Well, they wrap the green handles. They must be anodized then instead of rubber. I don't know. Like I said, this is the first look I've had them too, so. No, they're oh, no. coated. They wow. are? Oh, and they got the little measurements on there too. If you flip it over, it's probably got metric on the other side. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just ha, kidding. Ha, ha, ha. I got you. <laughs> look, I don't work on a lot of stuff, so, I mean, that's pretty soft. Yeah. I mean, interesting. It is. Make fun of me not knowing stuff. I got I'm you. I'm just missing you. But little bitty old pair. You actually have to buy the metric set. You have to have a standard and a metric. Well, if you had to flip it over. <laughs> but everybody I'm, needs a standard and a metric. Uh, you know, my dad used to call those Mississippi metrics. Mississippi. Those adjustable wrenches. Yeah. <laughs> Because well, back mean, when they first come out with metric stuff, you know, where you'd see it on cars and stuff, you know, he'd get aggravated and he'd be like, ah, it's America, they should use, you know, standards. Blah, yeah. Blah. Well. That's where he started calling them. I'll just get one of the Mississippi metric wrenches and it'll work on all of them. So. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Do they not have, like, is there not standard size sockets that fit the metric stuff? They are. Okay, so, I mean. I don't work on a lot of stuff. Not so. all of them, but like it's close. Like yeah. you can, you know, a three-eight. There'll be just a little a bit of wobble most there, of kind the of time. thing. And, you know, so you know. it just yeah. sucks that. Well, it, not now because we're used to it, right? But when it first come yeah. out, you know, it's kind of like if they come out, Tesla comes out with some crazy new fashioner, and you have to spend mm -hmm. six hundred dollars for a set of, you know, uh, bits to take them out. Volkswagen, right? They have Triple different. Spires. Yes. Yeah. So. I mean, I know when Michael was over there working on cars up there at the dealership, you know, they would get random stuff in like mm -hmm. you didn't have stuff for. So he would have to get on a tool truck, try to get it. And then it's like, I don't really want to pay this, but when I need it, I need it. And we have a lot of that get on here too, where if you need it, you need it right then. You know, you're worth, you know, spending that money sure. at that time. Yeah. I mean, you save time, especially if you're on commission. So. Mm -hmm. You know, that sucks too. It looks like if, if you're working in a dealership and mm -hmm. they come out with a new fastener, they should offer you the tools before you actually need them on the job. You know what I mean? They yeah. should be like, hey guys, we're coming out with this sockets that you gotta have to do these repairs. Exactly. You know. But. So, looks like y'all have done a lot of ball busting. Yeah, we've actually had to empty that out. So, they okay. like to fall down the steps whenever Michael takes a really good curve. Making so. that money. And the table's nearly empty. It is, so. and we're planning on if it, we're trying to make it till Friday, yep. you know, and of course, if the big prizes go, we're gonna go get some more and hang them up. That way, everybody has a chance to win a big prize. And then, you know, as our grand prize, we haven't 100% decided what it's gonna be yet, but we know it's gonna be worth it, so. That's cool. And then I like that orange channel ratchet with the extensions. It is nice. Yeah. And you know, there's that uh, set that they have. They just, I think they did it as kind of a, everybody kind of needs it situation. It's right there. I don't know if Michael showed it or not, but it comes with a three eighths and a uh, three eighths and a quarter. Right. But um. In blue. Yeah, they have blue, green, orange. I'm not sure if they did red in it. They probably did. And I don't know sold. how you've kept your little boy out of these crayons. They're in the bucket for a reason, so he can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> but we got him a set. It's just we had to hide those. Yeah. And that's like that racetrack. It was sitting underneath there. We had to put, put one it up there on the yes. top. Yeah. He wants it so little bad. Fella. He's probably going to end up with it if I had to guess. So if it makes it till Friday, he'll end up well, with it. I wish it. I could win it. I'm just sending it home to him now. Well, I'll be all right. There you go. 
Well, he can't have it till Christmas it anyways. Even if I win it and give it to him? <laughs> if you wrap it up. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. No. No, he's been wanting it really bad, so like I said, he's probably going to end up with it. So what's the deal with the bow on here? That means that it's probably got a really good sale on it, wow. if I had to guess. Where's the rest of the bows at? I might need to look uh, for Believe something. it or not, we had two big old bag of bows, and all the stuff all that we had bows gone. on is gone pretty much. That's good. Look so at all the we had the bow on that, and then our socket set down here. Somebody actually hit it. It was up top. Oh, somebody's trying to keep it in the next week. Huh? <laughs> they did. It's right there. <laughs> so, and speaking of him, I know Michael probably showed y'all that. That he, yeah. We had it all organized and he decided to stick them all upside down. Hey, make it look for him. He's just showing you yeah. what drive size they are. <laughs> he thought, kid. yes, he grabbed a ratchet yesterday and he thought he broke it because we had a socket on it. He pulled it off and he thought he broke it. So he come to Michael to fix it. So yeah, it was nice. It ain't gonna be long. He's gonna be selling some tools on this truck. Well, he will. Um, Michael's cousin that stayed with his mama a lot, he'll come on here and Bubba show him around and try to sell him stuff. And oh, yeah. he's like, I ain't got a job. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't gonna be it. long. He'll have Michael. Uh, Michael will just sit up there in the seat and play on his phone. And you know, we hope that we can pass it on to one of them. You know. So. Be good. <laughs> Y'all got some winter gloves in? We did. They're all nice. We sell a lot of those uh, to shop owners just to give and I guess like stock and stuff kind of sure. things. Yeah. So be nice. They come out with like youth sizes. Mm -hmm. And I like the new Carhartt colored cap. Mm -hmm. We yeah. got those in Wednesday. That's I think is when we got those in. The yeah, Michael definitely needs to leave you in charge of the swag. Well, we try. Um, we're actually looking to get our, our shirts done too with like the cartoon truck is what I call it. The same thing that's on there. Mm -hmm. So we're just waiting on them. That's cool. <laughs> we're just not 100% of people want to wear Michael's name on the back of his shirt or not. So. Well, that's some <laughs> crap. Well, you got some picky customers that they're like, I'm not, you know, you know, oh, advertising I don't want to for advertise you. for Free advertising, unless yeah, you're going to give me. they come on here and probably want a little bit better deal. Oh, yeah. yeah that, yep. That's two-way street, you know. <laughs> well, you got to be uh, a reliable customer at that point. Oh, well. <laughs> I'd advertise for him. Well. I have no problem. I've got the best Matco dealer in this part of the country. Well. Appreciate Definitely be the best Matco dealer that's ever run at this shop. I can exactly. guarantee you that. <laughs> well, we appreciate so, that. I mean, it ain't taking nothing away from y'all, but we didn't have nothing to start with. So, well, y'all killed a, it. Yeah, he had an uphill battle, that's for sure. But yep, if he can dig out of that hole, there ain't a dealer in the country that can't say that we, you can't make it. Exactly. So, y'all had some big voids y'all had to jump into when y'all started. Yeah. I bet you didn't realize it was that bad, did you? Look, I'll be honest with you, the first, Michael messaged me, I was at work, he said, hey, what do you think about owning a tool truck? And I'm like, I've never been on a tool truck. I didn't know what you were talking about. I said, are you talking about Snap-on? He's like, no, I'm talking about Mac. <laughs> so what do I do, like anybody else? Hey, Google, what's Maco Tools? Your videos are the first thing that pop up. And I said, are you sure? And yeah, I watched every single one of those. No, How nervous like, was y'all the first time? Like, I, there's a lot of people that's watched now that wasn't yeah. watching then. So when Michael and Leslie first got the Matco route, Michael came here <clears throat> and uh, he was wanting me to get on the truck. I said, can I do a video? He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's probably like six times he came here. Yeah. And finally, like maybe two video or two times before we did the video, Bill was wanting to come by it. Like, yeah. we, none of us even got on the truck. I was like, just go out there if you want to go on it, Bill. But I'm not mm -hmm. going until we can do a video. Like, everybody get to see the truck when I get to see the truck. Mm -hmm. So Bill come on there, and he's like, oh, man, it's loaded down. It's nice. <laughs> nice truck, you know. And uh, finally, Michael, y'all come after work one day, remember? Yeah, that was the first time that after I actually rode with him. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we did a video, and Michael seen it, wouldn't eat him. And he got to take <laughs> down my Matco dealer sucks balls sign off I still the have it, too. So I just <laughs> I got it in my closet. So uh, anyway, that was uh, that was the first video mm -hmm. that we ever did, and Michael saying that wasn't gonna.
kill him. Well, Michael, he does not like attention at all. So, you know, like the happy, happy birthday that, you know, at the restaurants and stuff, no. Yeah, like I don't like that either. He, he does not like that kind of attention. So being on camera front, you know, and you have a lot of subscribers too. So, I mean, just throw it out there, but that's a lot of pressure. And plus, you know. And now he's loved. Exactly. He's probably the most famous Matco dealer. There's probably, I guarantee you, guarantee you, there's more people know Matco Michael's face and his name mm -hmm. than Tim Gilmore. Guaranteed. I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know who Tim Gilmore was. <laughs> Nationwide. I just throw it out there. I mean, yeah. not, there's not people bad, in other but... countries that don't even have Matco trucks or can get Matco tools that knows who Matco Michael yeah. is. Well, we have a ton of people like, you know, Michael has a Facebook, Michael has an Instagram, he does not have a TikTok. We leave that to y'all professionals. But um, they will message him on Instagram and stuff. Hey, you know, I've seen you on uh, Coon Truck and videos and yeah. stuff like that. And I, they said, I just want to say hi. I know you're busy, but and then of course Michael, he'll say hi back. Yeah. And that just makes their day. Like, it does. So it's cool. Like, it I is. like it. And I think it's cool that Michael's more known than the CEO or president or whatever they call him of Matco. So yeah. Pretty cool. It is. All right. Well, the green nipex were cool, and they the are. exoskeleton set of adjustable wrenches or Mississippi metrics was pretty yeah. neat to see. So, <laughs> all right, guys, that's your video this week. Hopefully, you like it. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes are down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. It's that easy. Y'all have a great week. See ya. <laughs>